Hello, hello. You know, I don't usually give three readings for Sagittarius in one month. But I did Aquarius reading. I just want to make sure what's going on with Seth. Are y'all dating Aquarius? Somebody went to Aquarius, they leaving y'all ass. I want to know what's going on with Sagittarius. No, I don't never do no reading for my side. Let's say it's imperative. I'm confused. Before I do Pisces and Aries, I got to look into y'all shit. Y'all got too much shit going on. Y'all ain't going to be long. Because I got other shit to do. <laughs> Alright, you want to see. What the fuck going on, Sag? Alright, Sagittarius. What's going on with your mid-month? Because we already went over the beginning. You're not supposed to listen to your friends. Inkles make no quick decisions when last time. What's going on, Sag? Okay. The strength in the star... Aquarius and Leo energy. Two energies together. Anything else for Sagittarius for the mid month? The High Priestess came out. Anything else for Sagittarius? Um, this will be the Lovers and the Will of Fortune. Okay. And the Temperance. Here you go. Alright. The bottom of the deck is Justice Reverse. Ooh, you could be done with a Libra. Ooh, or legal issues. Two legal issues. There's a woman dealing with legal issues, and she is burdened by them. She's stuck in some type of legal situation. Or with a Libra. Or some type of legal situation. Anyways. Someone is having to use their raw power, their strength, and their intellectualism to get them through a situation. It could be dealing with a Gemini or a love relationship that maybe someone has to make a decision in. There is a high priestess or a situation that someone is keeping secret. It could be using your intuition and your femininity to get through a situation. And temperance is like healing things, getting to the bottom of things. Um, the star is kind of like um, new relationships, reconciliations, desires, wishes, and dreams. And the Wheel of Fortune can literally be about, like, the wheel turning. So, we're going to find out where everything is. Mr. Sag and Mr. Sagittarius. Um, can we get some cards on the Home Brewer for Strength? Let me ask me, Leo. You're dealing with Leo. Okay, so there's a Queen of Pentacles and an Emperor. So, this person could be dealing with law. Or someone's dealing with a baby daddy. Or this could also be a man that's really unjust. Um, we'll find out who the emperor is later. What is the lover's card for Sag? And the justice card. Okay, so this could be dealing with a Libra or a legal situation in regard. It could be a divorce. Hold on, this card's in the deck. And it should not be. Eight of Cups is walking away. That's what came out. Um, anything else for lovers? Maybe you have to have strength with a, a man or a woman. The temperance and the high priestess. Yeah. Okay, so someone could be going to a downward spiral. Or someone could be drinking. Or they could be... Um, maybe someone has to wait something out until something plays out. And they something is being played out in the background. Or there's a secret. Or someone has a secret. Or someone keeps their life secret. Uh, or there is a Gemini keeping a secret. What is the High Priestess? What is the High Priestess for Sagittarius? This would be the Eight of Wands and the Fool. Yeah, some. If you are thinking about moving, don't go nowhere. The Eight of Wands is like something that started out as a good idea, didn't go as well. It would seem fun, but it didn't go well. The fool is kind of like risky, foolish decisions. What is, okay, so we'll get to that later. What is the temperance card for Sagittarius? This is the Knight of Wands, so some type of move or movement. What is the temperance card for Sagittarius this month? Could be done with a Scorpio. The Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so somebody is leaving a family. They said bye. Yeah, someone, the five of swords is like public humiliation. So someone could be exposed. The eight of cups is like someone, or you know what? Someone is exposing other people and everybody's walking away from this person. Someone has everything they want, but their friends are not with them or they're leaving without people and they're fucking people over. 
this could be bad friends. So someone could be humiliated by bad friends or bad situations or a family dynamic. But we'll see later. What is the star for Sag? Mm -mm -mm. This will be the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody got some money. And that's why everybody's doing so much. Or this Aquarius can have money. The Queen of Swords, the Empress, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Is someone stealing money? This woman, be careful. If you got you married to a Virgo or a Libra, double emphasis on Taurus and Libra, someone is stealing something or someone is doing something they're not proud of. And they're having to fight some situation off. So this could be somebody's mama. And what is the trust fund, the will of fortune? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody, some hard work or somebody's job. What is the will of fortune or someone's job is changing? This would be the page of pentacles. Somebody's job does pay a lot. Okay, so this person got a judgment, but someone's going to get some type of hope. The queen of cups can be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone, Maybe someone made a bad decision or someone made a bad choice or someone's very critical or someone could be the butt of malicious gossip. But the king of wands, the star, and the two of cups. The king of wands, this could be an Aquarius. Someone is definitely helping out. Or someone judged someone wrong. Hmm. This is curious. Someone being stuck in the situation. All right. So we're going to clarify. What was the strength, the queen of pentacles and the emperor? Because we see him as verse. Or we know who's the emperor reverse. Because we pretty much know that. We don't know who the emperor is. The emperor is the justice card. So it could be a Libra. It could be a legal situation too. It could be four of pentacles, nine of cups. So somebody has some money. This could be an inheritance. But it's not much. Or it's a missed opportunity. The lover's card can be manipulation, though. Someone separated from someone, a divine counterpart. So someone is having strength with someone that's an absentee father. Someone is manipulating a relationship to go a certain way. Hmm. What is the, the 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 lovers, the justice, the temperance, and the high priestess? What is that? That would be the empress and the page of pentacles. Someone could have a kid or someone could be given this beautiful opportunity. Mm. Oh, shit. What's the temperance card? It's my bad. Chill. Um... This is like Ten of Swords, Six of Swords. Someone is overcoming a situation of betrayal, but the way they do it is like quick. Is someone eloping? What's the Six of Swords reverse? The Two of Pentacles. Someone's got a lot going on. The Magician. Someone's trying to manifest something. Seven of Wands. Four of Wands. Four of... Someone is, yeah, somebody's marrying or eloping quick. I don't know. Someone should be thinking about that before they do that. All right, let me check some other shit. Okay. All right. I'm going to scoop this over because this has already been clarified. And, okay. No, that's not the right deck. Oh, y'all. Y'all know I'm slow. All right. Um, What is the High Priestess, the Eight of Wands reverse, and the Fool? is that what is the eight of wands reverse the fool and the okay that flew this is the ten of wands the sun something is not as exciting or it it brings problems the ten is diminished to the five so there is some type of like reassessment or accountability but someone feels like they lost something or the five of wands can be literally like someone has a lot of legal issues yeah, someone's being sued or they're going through a lot of problems. It could be like a earth sign. And they make impulsive decisions in regards to business or relationships. So this could be like someone, something started off great, but maybe not. Maybe someone's a side chick. Someone could be buying in and doing some impulsive shit, yo. I don't think that's a good idea. What is the Eight of Wands? Okay, so someone's leaving quick as fuck. What is the Eight of Wands, the Temperance, and the... What is the 
Knight of Wands, the Temperance, and the Eight of Cups. The Two of Swords reverse, the Page of Cups, and the King of Wands. The Two of Swords can, oh, the Fool reverse, negligence and carelessness of something's going to come regardless. Someone is blindly manipulating someone. It's this Leo or this Cancer. Someone had something to go right in regards to a kid or someone has self-esteem issues. What's the Two of Swords page of cups? Someone's manipulating someone. Yeah, the lovers, the ten of... Someone is manipulating someone for money and they're going to leave. Or someone is fucking someone for money and they're going to leave. Be careful, y'all. Don't leave. Don't go with nobody that you ain't sure about this person. Um. Yeah, be careful about leaving with a attractive man or a fire sign. This person can be on some bullshit. You don't want this person. Oh, uh, what is the star and the ten of pentacles, the queen of swords, the empress, the seven of swords? Somebody's stealing money. What is that? The nine of cups reverse. Somebody's greedy. So if somebody stole something or they're a narcissist and they stole something. Somebody's dreams are shattered and they're leaving. What's the nine of cups reverse? Mm -mm -mm. The world. Yeah, somebody left and they famous or something's completed. Somebody took some money, but they spent that shit. What's the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles? That would be the five of swords, five of wands. Someone is having some type of argument, but it will be resolved. It won't always be a big issue. Yeah, it's just a, a burden right now, but someone's going to be free from that burden. And they're going to look pretty because they avoided conflict. So I guess that whoever comes after this person... It's going to avoid some type of conflict. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. All right. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, what's the Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles? Or seven, sorry, Ten of Pentacles. The Five of... The Five of... Oops. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm up here like dropping shit. The Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups reverse. The Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to overcome some type of heartache. This could be a kid. This is your kid. This kid's in yours. But someone has made a bad decision in regards to work. And it could really be a burden to them. But I get that someone had a lot of unrealistic expectations that will be resolved. I just get resolvement. An ex could be coming back and giving you their love and they want to fix things as well. If you are dealing with that. Um, let's look at the Five of Swords. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. All right. This is full of fortune. What is the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of... Well, okay, let's see. What is the Queen of Cups and the Judgment? Those are negative cards. I can those out first. Okay. The Two of Swords. Somebody has a decision to make about some money. Or illegal shit in regards to Aquarius. Yeah, somebody is juggling or someone's going in circles or someone's very materialistic and they're not doing well. The Seven of Pentacles is like some type of job, maybe an investment or relationship. Something is not going according to plan at all. Yeah, something's not going right at all. What's the star and the two of cups? Somebody's giving it somebody a chance or reconsider. Yeah, somebody's coming. So I get if somebody's in, in any problem, somebody is coming. Yeah, somebody is going to have a, luck, a stroke of luck. The fool. Yeah, I get that somebody's going to help somebody out. This person, they fought though. Somebody, I guess, I don't know. It's somebody looking out for somebody. They got into a fight and they just looked out for them. Interesting. Okay, Sagittarius, so what's going to happen to you going into December? Y'all got too much shit going on, for real. Yeah, the King of Swords and Three of Wands. Someone someone is trying to do something malicious, but I don't see it coming through. What's going on for the end of the month for Sag? Somebody is returning home? Yeah, somebody is getting out of jail or some secret is being released. In regards to this King of Swords, Capricorn, Aquarius. 
like our, our Libra. Yes, it's going to break this King of Swords heart or this man is doing some third party shit. Someone's going to get a, a lawyer or they're going to get therapy about it. Um, yeah, it's some type of betrayal. Maybe someone did some sexual shit and they are paying for it. Let's see, why is this King of Swords reverse? Um, that would be the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups, the Tower, King of Cups, and the Fool. Some man did some very malicious shit. It could have been a man that didn't like relationships. He had his options. He made a decision, and now he's kind of stuck in his own decisions. Um... Somebody could be pregnant or somebody doesn't want something or someone, okay, someone wished for it to be single, but it didn't work out the way they wanted and they hold on to a relationship or an investment. Like they're trying to talk to someone and come back to a situation. If they left, what is the moon and the eight of swords? Something is coming out, yo. It's about a Aries or a Taurus. Yeah, about a kid. Somebody's pregnant or somebody has a kid on the way or something that comes back from the past. The devil it could be a friend. Someone is trapped to something in their past. What is the king of pentacles and the three of swords? That's the four of pentacles and the eight of cups. Someone is walking away from an inheritance or walking away from something they held on to. Or you're walking away, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're ending something. You're like, oh, nope, I'm good. Yeah, you're leaving something for something else. And what is the Hermit, Nine of Swords? Maybe you're making up with someone. It could be a Virgo. Um, yeah, somebody... Now, be careful. Someone could be using magic against you. They could be forcing you to do this. I don't know. Anything else for the Hermit and the Nine of Swords? Yeah. Someone is. Someone knows you ain't got a lot. Someone's offering you a cup, but I don't know. I don't like the Nine of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups as far as what this Virgo is offering? Yeah, hey man. Someone is waiting for you to acknowledge them as a lover or a friend. The Queen of Cups, they love you. They think you're very beautiful. Yeah, they want to give you an offer. They don't have a lot to give you. In fact, they're, you don't think that they're really right for you. You may not even be attracted to them. But they want to offer you a relationship. They feel like they're running out of time. I wonder why. Why is this hermit running out of time? Or the skeptical? Nine of Cups. Some type of lottery win or wish fulfillment? What's Nine of Cups? The Ace of Cups, a baby? Yeah, somebody... Okay, so the Temperance card is like the recklessness. The Will of Fortune is like an end of a bad cycle. Need to address something or a timeout. Somebody is trying to like stop somebody with a baby or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's like unfinished business. Somebody's trying to betray someone and take someone's money or live off of them. Someone wants to have sex and then leave someone with a kid. So be careful, Sagittarius. You got too many enemies. Worst motherfucker, you could be dealing with someone that could be going to jail, but I don't see you going to jail or someone could be saying, well, I don't know. So, all right, Sagittarius, that's been the end of your reading. If you feel like you want to get a reading from me, it resonates, please hit me up. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.